everybody. So today's video is called Weird is Wonderful. Um, I have always been the weird kid. I am not gonna lie, like always, always been called weird and it would be for different reasons. Um, like my hobbies, um, the type of music I like, uh, what I wear, um, even, even to the point of like how I view different things, like my point of view when it comes to certain um, topics, I'll be called weird for that. And it really, really, really used to eat at me. But I've grown so accustomed to it now because it's a word we use frequently in my family. Um, so much so, I've grown so accustomed to it that I started calling like my nieces and nephews that. And I remember one day, <clears throat> I remember one day, um, I think a couple of weeks ago or so, um, I asked my niece what she wanted to eat and she's pretty health conscious. Not that she has to be, but she chooses to be. So um, I think she wanted like stir fry or veggies. It has something to do with veggies or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I called her weird because, I mean, what kid asks for veggies? You know what I'm saying? But when I said it, it was like I had said a bad word. It it left this bad taste in my mouth. And like I said, the word weird in our family is, is used frequently. So when I said it and I felt that way, I was like, oh. I was like, you know, let me try to clean it up. Let me take that back. So I was telling her. I was like, you know, you're not weird, you're just different, you know? And I tried to kind of clean it up, but I didn't do a very good job of cleaning it up. I don't think I did. Um, I didn't hear anything about it from her. You know, she didn't say anything to me about it, but I was just putting myself in her position. And the kid is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Anything she touches, like King Midas, she touches it, it turns to gold, or she, she masters it, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want her thinking that her level of mastery for all these different things is weird. It's actually really cool. So um, I started thinking about how powerful words are. And without thinking, we we have these vicious cycles. Like we just, we continue what we were labeled as. We passed that down to our kids, our cousins, our nieces, our nephews without even realizing it because that's what we grew up with. That's what we grew up around. And so I sat down and I wrote a psalm. I call it a psalm because it's a poem that can possibly turn into a song at some point in my life. So, um, Pong sounds really weird, so I just stuck with so um. So, um, ha, <laughs> so um. <laughs> no, so this is what I wrote, and this is really to my niece. Um, this is, this is like a poem, so um, to my niece. Um, because she, she was who I had in mind while I was writing this. So, y'all bear with me. <clears throat> People call weird what they cannot control. One of the oldest tricks in the book. I was called weird and now I'm passing it on to you, but truth is you're incredible and I am too. It's a mind game they're playing to make you feel less amazing because they view normal as the only way to make it. But can you help it if they've all become complacent? If they broaden their horizons, they'd be half as smart as you but they refuse to even try it. They won't risk trading they cool for a little crazy. Have a kid, buy a house, drive a Mercedes so they can be seen as accomplished by the time that they turn 80. Want a life they can relax in, but they start off being lazy. Think their future is so clear when in fact it's a little hazy. They think they work so hard, but it's for someone else's dream. And the way they took to get it was all someone else's scheme. Just think. To change the world means you have to be contrary. I know that going against the grain like that, it can be scary. 
Labeled as weird is the first step for which you are preparing. Instead of caring about how normies see your uniqueness, focus on what makes you weird as a strength and not a weakness. Whenever someone speaks this word that's meant for degradation, just know that it's your pathway to impact this whole nation. Your obligation, your duty is to stand out. Don't let these normies place things like fear and doubt in the mind of brilliance. One of the things that makes you so unique is your resilience. They cannot fathom. Your potential is decillion. What I'm saying, I hope you're feeling it. Because everything that's in my heart, baby, I'm spilling it. And scene. So, um, that was my song um, to my niece. And anybody else that has been called weird um, because people don't understand you or don't understand what you into or whatever, um, you're just different. You know what I'm saying? So, don't take weird as a degrading term because people say that for things that they, they can't grasp, they can't understand. So I just want to let everybody else out there know, you know, who's been struggling with being called weird, that your weird is absolutely wonderful. So use that weird to change the world because you can't change the world just being normal. You know what I'm saying? You got to be extra, extraordinary in order to change the world. So I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>